Hi traders, so when was the last time you did 100%? Well, details will follow. In the seventh consecutive week, the S&P 500 gained another 0.13%. Not much, but an all-time high for all the main indices, the S&P 500, the Nasdaq and the Dow Jones. Now, the last time we've seen all three indices together at a new high was 1999 at the peak of the dot-com bubble. Now, does this mean anything? Well, not much due to the fact that it all happening through a very low volume period, August trading. Now, market volatility is very low. However, due to the earnings season, there will be plenty of intraday opportunities. And this week is the time for the big retailers announcements. We will see Walmart and uh, Home Depot and Target and Ross stores and more. So we're going to have an interesting week. Let's take a technical view of the market. When I take a look at the S&P 500 daily, we did move above. There is a breakdown, a breakout, however, very, very small as expected for August. Now let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX is very, very interesting. It is low. We finished last week at 11.55. And whenever we reach this low, it is usually supposed to reverse and move higher. Now take a look, for example, at last year's 2015 August. That was when the Chinese uh, devaluated the Yuan. However, it is expected that the VIX from this point sometime during the next weeks or month is going to push higher. This is what my next trade is all about. Now let's take a look first at my last week picks. My first pick was Google long. Google did trigger, however, did not do that much. A very small gain, and I expect some more upside continuation. My second pick was DFS, and DFS, the same story, did trigger, didn't do much, small gain, and a good expectation for some uh, more upside move. Let's take a look at uh, this week's picks. My first pick for the week, and this is the 100% gain I promised you, is the VXX long over 37.55. And again, we are at record lows. The VIX should move higher. However, this trade is a little bit different. We do not have a stop loss. We do have a first target where we will sell 50% at a 50% gain. So I expect the VXX to continue higher. No stop loss because I don't know how long and how much it's going to continue lower. So make sure you do not take this trade with margin. So VXX long is a very interesting trade. My second trade for the week is Tesla. I believe Tesla is at the point where it should pick direction. If it's going to move under 220, I think it's going to go down. Tesla is burning a lot of uh, money lately. And again, this is a fundamentally based trade, not a very technical brace, kind of a combination of the both. So Tesla for short under 220. And the first target is 200 stop loss at 240. Now, I wish you a great trading week. I'm leaving for a holiday for two weeks. So I'll see you back in three weeks. Thank you and bye.